Hi guys, we're here at Tutorial 101 and today we're going to discuss binary trees. But before we start, let's define some important terms that we are going to encounter during our tutorial session. First, what is algorithm? Algorithm is a finite set of instruction which if followed will accomplish a task. It is like a step-by-step -step procedure in achieving a specific output. Algorithm has a five important properties. First is the finiteness. Second is the definiteness. Third, the input. Fourth, the output. And the fifth is the effectiveness. Finiteness means an algorithm must terminate or finish after a finite number of steps. There must be an ending statement or conclusion that will determine the final output. Definiteness is ensured if every step of an algorithm is precisely defined. The third one is the input. It is the domain of the algorithm which could be zero or more quantities. This is the data to be processed in order to achieve the desired output. It is like the sugar, egg, oil, baking powder, chocolate, and milk in order to create the chocolate cake. The fourth one is the output. Output is the set of one or more resulting quantities which is also called the range of the algorithm. To make it simple, output is the product of all investigation or the solution after processing the data being gathered. The algorithm must be simple and precise that even a child can understand and recreate the step of the desired output. Algorithm, as we all know, is the step-by-step -step procedure to solve any problem. When we write an algorithm, we actually break a complicated problem into simple single steps to understand about its basic computation. It is important not only for programmers but also to normal people because it can help us to solve even simple problems we encounter on our daily lives. Data structure is a specialized format for organizing and storing data. Generally, data structure types include the array, the file, the record, the table, the tree, and so on. Any data structure is designed to organize data to suit a specific purpose. Binary tree is an abstract data type that is hierarchical in structure. It is the most commonly used in searching, sorting, efficient encoding of strings, priority queues, decision tables, and symbol table. This is an example of a binary tree. Let's name it T. It has a special node, say R, which is called the root. Each node of the root is called the parent node. Let's name it P. And each node of the P is said to be the child or son of a node B. Binary tree have different types, the left skewed binary tree, the right skewed binary tree, the pool binary tree, and a complete binary tree. The number of the non-null subtrees of a node is called the degree. If a node has a degree zero, it is classified as a lip or a terminal node. The height or depth of a tree is the level of the bottommost nodes which is also the length of the longest path from the root of any lip. This example shows the level 4 of the tree. Level of a node refers to the distance of the node from the root. Hence, the root of the tree has a level 0. Traversal is a method used to visit each node of a binary tree. There are three ways to traverse a tree. The pre-order, the in-order, and the post-order. Pre-order traversal uses a syntax like this. First, visit the root. Second, traverse the left subtree. And third, traverse the right subtree. In-order traversal uses a syntax like this. First, traverse the left subtree. Second, visit the root. And third, visit the right subtree. Post-order traversal uses a method like this. First, traverse the left subtree. Second, traverse the right subtree. And third, visit the root.
Here is an example. In this binary tree, we are going to find the pre-order and order and post-order traversals. First, the pre-order traversal. In the pre-order traversal, the order is root node, left child, right child. We first visit the root node, which is the letter Y. Then after visiting the root, we visit the nodes in the left subtree, which is the letter C. Then the left child is letter U, next the right child letter N. Then go to the node letter P, and next to the left child letter O. After visiting the nodes in the left subtree, we are now going to visit the nodes in the right subtree, which is the letter G. We visit the left child letter R, next to the right child letter I. Then the node letter E, we go to the left child letter T, and then to the right child letter H, and then go to the node letter E, next is to the left child B, and lastly to the right child letter L. Now, let's go to the in order traversal. The in order traversal, the order is left child, root node, right child. We first visit the left subtree. Then we visit the root node, and then its right subtree. We visit the letter U, the left child, then letter N, then go to the node letter C, then to the letter O, and next to the letter P, then the root node letter Y. We finish all the nodes in the left subtree, so now we're going to the nodes in the right subtree. We first go to the left child letter R, and the right child letter I, and node letter G. Next is to the letter H, followed by the letter T, and then to le node letter E, followed by the letter B. Next is to the letter L, and lastly to the node letter E. For the post-order traversal, the order is left child, right child, root node. We first visit its left subtree, and then visit its right subtree, and then finally we visit the root node. We are now on the letter N followed by the left child letter U, then go to the right child letter O, next is the letter P, then go to the letter C. We finish visiting all the nodes in the left subtree, and now let's go to the nodes in the right subtree. We first go to the right child letter I, then to the left child letter R, next is to the letter H, followed by the letter T, then go to the letter L, Next is to the letter B, followed by letter E, then to the node letter A, followed by node letter G, lastly to the root node letter Y. That's how you get the order in order and post order traversals. Thank you.